Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-qubuti wa al-abaid. Salam alaikum, people to learners. I am teacher Bahati. We are going to learn Islamic activity, moral teachings, and uh, toileting. Moral teachings and uh, toileting. Can you say toileting? First of all, what is moral teachings? I am going to teach you good behavior. Say good behavior when visiting the toilet. Good behaviors when visiting the toilet. Before we go there, do you all have these books? Yes. If you do have these books, kindly keep them close by. Yes, we are going to use the this book while winding up. Okay. So, do you have toilets in your school? Do you have toilets in your school? Yes. Okay, tell me. How many toilets do you have? I know you visit the toilets every day. How many toilets are they found in your school? Just tell me how many. Is it four? Is it six? Is it ten? Yes. Wow, one is telling me five. Mm -hmm. Wow, you are telling me six. Okay, okay, okay. How are your toilets separated? How are they built? Are they all together or do the boys have their own toilet? How? Yes, boys their own toilet, girls their own toilets, and teachers their own toilets. Wonderful. And so today we are going to learn Islamic manners of toileting. Islamic manners of toileting. You are a Muslim, I am a Muslim, we are Muslims and we have to know these manners of toileting. We have to know these manners of toileting. For example, when we are asked, how do you go to the toilet? Yeah, you are telling the truth. You just run to the toilet. Oh, um, that is wrong. We are not supposed to do that. We are, I am going to show you on the steps that should be taken when going to the toilet. One, before visiting the toilet, before visiting the toilet, before visiting, before entering the toilet, what is this person doing? Reciting a dua. What is he doing? Reciting a dua. Can you recite after me? Allahumma inni awudhubika minal khubuti wala ba'it. Very good. Uh -huh. After reciting duha, what are you supposed to do? What is the next step? Remember, you have not entered the toilet. You are still outside the toilet or on your way to the toilet. You recite the duha. And then what else? in the toilet but we enter with the left leg we enter with the left leg after reciting dua we enter the toilet with the left leg and then we have already entered the toilet while in the toilet what are we supposed to do what is done in the toilet mm -hmm. how do you help yourself do you just go there to stand no. We help ourselves while sitting or squatting like a frog. Uh -huh. That is how we are supposed to, to do. We are supposed to help ourselves while sitting or squatting. Uh -huh. Okay. There are things that are not supposed to be done in the toilet. While in the toilet, there are things that is not supposed to be done. And I'll tell you the reason why. One, eating in the toilet. No eating in the toilet. 
from today. If you if you have, you have the habit of carrying sweets in the toilet, can you say no more sweets in the toilet? Very good. No more bands in the toilet. Very good. Eating in the toilet is not supposed to be done. And mm -hmm. can you tell me what this person is doing? Maintain silent in the toilet. You are not supposed to talk in the toilet. My dear Muslim boy and girl, you are not supposed to. You are not supposed to talk. Sing in the in the toilet. You are not supposed to do any of them in the in the toilet. Very good. Uh -huh. What are these people doing? They are playing, but outside. The playing should be done outside, not in the toilet. Not in the toilet. Very good. Okay. Lastly, last but not least, um, remember in the toilet, we are supposed to use clean water. Mm -hmm. Muslims don't use tissues. We use clean water to clean ourselves. With the nudges in our body is removed. Nudges is sweat. Mm -hmm. Yes, urine. Urine, the source and the poop. We remove that with water. Okay, very good. Now, what is the last bit? When we are done with all that in the toilet, when coming out, how are we supposed to do it? We come out with, we leave the toilet with the right leg. We leave the toilet with the right leg. Like what this man is doing, like what this child is doing. We leave the toilet with the right leg and remember just as just as you entered the toilet with the with the left leg yes we enter the toilet with the left leg we are coming out with the right leg we have entered the toilet with a dua before entering the, the toilet we've recited a dua while still outside we are going to do the same when leaving the toilet outside. Now, repeat after me the dua. Say it while leaving the toilet. After you come out with the right leg, what do you say? Can you say, Wofran Naka? Say it again, Wofran Naka. Wonderful. So, those are some of the images that I had prepared for you. Meanwhile, let us open our books on page 30. These books, I've told you we're going to use these books. Yes, on page 30. On page 30. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have this one. Here is the page 30. Okay. What are they saying? Before entering the toilet, the boy is entering the toilet. Using which leg? Wonderful left leg, and before that, he had said that dua. Can you tell me the dua? Okay, Allahumma inni, Awudubika, Mina Hoboti, Wala Bait. Very good. Mm -hmm. On page 31, yes, the past tenses. What is it saying? Let us read together. I help myself while seated or squatting. Very good. Mm -hmm. The next one. I wash myself with clean water. Very good. Uh -huh. The third one. I do not eat and drink in the toilet. Another one. I maintain silence 
in the toilet. Mm -hmm. I'll live with my right foot and I say Hofranaka. And remember to wash your hands when after coming out of the toilet. Remember to wash your hands. My dear learners, those are manners of toileting according to the Islamic way of teaching. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Stick up to the to what I have taught you, especially when visiting the toilet at home and at school. See you next time. Bye-bye.